Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Eye of the Storm, uh, week 12. This is our Dungeon Dragons 3.5 adventure. Um, I am the DM and I'm joined here today by my cast. We have 2D Soldier playing as Aiden. We have Shippendale playing as Cadence. Nick with a new haircut playing as James. Ghost Chanter playing as Samal, and finally Eyesight playing as Darius. Actually, uh, I think me and Samal will switch characters this session. We're just doing it for like a bit of fun and laughs, you know. That'd be the end of Bob if we did that. <laughs> 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 I take Bob and I throw him on the cliff. <laughs> Bob, John Popek, cliff. What? Trust me, Bob. It's okay. It's okay. I'll give you some encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, um, before we start, let's see what what happened last time with uh, with our characters. I so, I think I it's pretty know. common that what happened. It was like the usual session where um, we just found like three plus four swords. You know, we're like going around. There was this magic staff of casting unlimited fireballs. Not a scroll, a staff. And um, we used that to slay the massive giant in the middle of the town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, when the sword is purple. I, I, I think my goddess made me like the the her her champion. So now I'm like yeah, I, I dem I dem my goddess myself. Oh, I remember yes, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. I remember that too. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't actually turned into a gold dragon. So yeah. Yeah, it's a just it just turned out into an epic campaign. Just so more is I, yeah. simply so more. Yeah, I'm still just stabbing people in the back. I'm That's still more powerful than any of you. Just the sense. But now uh, you turned into a. So more turned into a siren. Forever. Just one little thing. Uh, Simon, can you turn your cam a bit down and I say a bit up? Wait. Excuse me? That's extremely rude. My camera's always like this now. <laughs> can, you can you lower your seat by half an inch? <laughs> yes. Are we back? Thank you. <laughs> it's Thank so you. uncomfortable now. I feel so uncomfortable. Yes, this is discrimination com com towards Aisai. Compensation claim. Compensation claim. <laughs> so, uh, now Willy. Aiden, what, what, what happened last time? Um... Jeez, it's been so long. Um... I believe we got in a fight with a spellcaster. Um... And there was some some large web put over the spellcaster by Darius um, and some stuff got killed um, Which you did not we, get to. I, I was pretty much frozen for the whole time and then I broke one thing's arm I, I remember that and then we ended up going to the mage tower past a collection of tasty looking women and children um, and now we're I believe we examined we examined some a room filled with demonic equipment and that's where we left off. Yeah. Uh well, so more, do you have something to add to that? Yeah, we didn't just examine it. I stepped on top of it. Oh, and what happened? I got to talk to the black mage who is currently two hours ink from coming to lay the smackdown on us. Chucky, you I know what try to let us back <laughs> I know what happened, but uh, but everybody know what happens. So you just I, I'm didn't, making I you do my shit. I, I'm making you do my work. Like I'm not doing a recap. I'm just asking you for it. So I'm being lazy as shit. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, um, I think we finished off at a part uh, where some more finished talking to the uh, uh, black robe mage. So you guys are still in that room. The dense fog that surrounded you all, uh, only Cadence could see through, uh, disappears. Some is thrown to the ground uh, from he five feet where he was levitating in the middle. The Soko disappears from the ground, the pentagram. And everything that remains is an eerie silence around you. Yeah. I could only see, I couldn't hear the conversation. Right. No. Uh, no, 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 no,
I, I will, I'll go and help him up unless he, you know, if he has thrown to the ground, I'll go and help him up. And no, no. Stand up, stand up and brush myself off. Yeah, I, I'll go over to you and I'll say, what, what did he say to you? Well, why? Um, I think we slightly met it because uh, you wouldn't actually know who I spoke to, but I was going to tell you all anyway. Um, I mean, I saw it. I, I no, saw he it. saw him. I saw him. He saw him as well. Oh, did you? Alright. Yes, um, I, it was dark. Yes, yeah. right? So I, I could see through it. I just asked you all if it was uh, definitely a black mage that you were all fighting before. Did I recognize the You wore black robes. That's good enough for me. Um, yeah, um, he, he knows where we are. And he's uh, coming. coming Can here? he get in? Uh, well, I'm guessing this is probably his room. So, yes. Um, however, this book behind us might be his spell book. I okay. go over and look at the book. Oh, be careful, be careful, black mage. I don't what, touch it, I just look at what it. What languages do you speak? <coughs> um, I speak common, giant, and Sylvan. Sylvan. So, how how do you look at this? That's my that's my question. Is it closed or is it open? Remind me. It it it, it is open. I just um. Well, first I want to examine it in like a general sense, not read what it says, but like, what color? Like, what do the words look like? Is it tattered or is it? Perfect? It's a big is tome. Um. Uh, Pages are a bit tattered, they're not perfect. Uh, it looks like gibberish to you, you don't understand the language. I have no desire to touch the book, I said. I'll expect it. What languages do you speak, my dear Cadence? I, s I think... Oh, wait, wait, wait I, I hear... French! Wait a sec. Because I think <laughs> you're the only one who can read this, if I'm, if I'm right. Swedish. Uh, let's see, I have... <laughs> it's definitely Swedish. Yeah, it's Swedish. Uh, sweet is ready, chocolate mousse. Yes, ah, yes, that's, sir, that's the sir code word. Sir strumming, sir strumming. Uh, knäckebröd, mycket silt. Croissant, baguette, french, wee oui, wee oui, You oui. have summoned a demon <laughs> from the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> the, ba the bagel demon. Yeah, we're something to make a joke. Yeah. 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 We get to control it now. That that ain't the rules. Okay. What? Turn up your cams again, please. Guys. Whoa. Okay. Uh, it's weird. We are still online on Skype. One sec. Uh, one of our players dropped the one that was actually holding the call. I am very sorry, but Skype just crashed. It just completely crashed. Yes, sorry. I I think I think that I think that Skype crashed. Uh, I don't know necessarily what happened. I'm gonna say crash for a lot of people because everyone's not picking up. Uh, yeah, because Simon just called it again. Let's, let's answer on his. Okay, uh, it's Olympic cams, everybody. <laughs> Skype just literally crashed. Ah, okay. Yep, uh, same in Snappy Cam and so, Kawhi so what For once, it is not Romanian internet that has caused the disruption. Yes, uh, this is the first time. Romanian internet has not failed me. He says he's going to give advice. Isaac, can you turn Snappy Cam, please? But Thank I'm medium. Thank you. You're a nice guy. Okay, so we are back. Uh, we're talking about the cheesecake demon that you just summoned. Ah, uh, uh, it's made of Oreos. <laughs> it's it's made of cheesecake. I just I made cheesecake a, a, a couple <laughs> of days ago. It's glorious. Now it's now it's come to claim me. It's come it's come to claim you, your children and your characters. This what? this is what it's happening. Anyway, um, you're looking at this book. So then again, what languages do you speak? 
uh, Draconic, uh, Inferno, and Celestial. Yes, this book is in Inferno. Uh, Kaden starts the garage. Basically, why you see, are you doing this? You see this entry in the book. It says Jigrand, uh, with capital letters. Uh, once it come again? Say Jigrand, uh, and after like below, it says family something something of half giants. There's a little picture of this uh, black, like there appears after this is a little picture of a black giant, and then there is a, uh, a schematic of a, a vambris that is crapsed upon this picture, and the giant in the picture grows double his size. Oh, a vambris? What the? Like a vambris is like a bracer. It's a bracer. A bracer for yeah. arches. Oh, all right, yeah. Thing you do that yeah. like goes up your forearm. Yeah. So it depicts a giant growing Scary double in giants. size while wearing this fan brace. Is that what I'm getting from this picture? A half giant. Th that th that is what you're seeing. A half giant. Okay, I hmm. I, I I I relay the information to the party. Like Everybody seeing. knows the information. Yeah. So now is there a half? What is a half giant? And how does it exist? Because giants are pretty big. You know, it's just and a, it's nothing just else a, is really that big. It's just a giant that's being crossbred, like any other half race. But it's pretty big. The polar so, one. <laughs> yeah. Polar bears. What's pretty big? The one in the picture or the one outside? No, no, he's, he's saying he's trying to understand the logistics of crossbreeding a giant with a human. Might not be a human. It could be anything. Colossus? Could be, could have polymorphed and then had sex. I don't know if that works. <laughs> I don't think that works. I don't know. I don't I know. Guess. I've Giant never, I've guess never tried it. Never I'll polymorph. I'll polymorph Bob into a girl one day, and we'll try it out. Have at you. Are you going to try out? But yeah, I'll try. Not doing. <laughs> Bob. Good try know. pregnant Bob waddling around. <laughs> <laughs> Only for like a day, and then it just pops when Bob goes back to normal. This chest burst. The first it becomes the first male pregnant goblin. Yeah. Okay. It should be, should be something Arnold. worthy of a bardic tale. <laughs> so you guys goblin. just so this found this out? So this yeah, is what so I see from an open book. This yeah, is the so page that you see, yes. Looking at it, it is definitely a picture of a half giant wearing a bracer that gets made bigger. For you, it is utter and complete gibberish. You said there when, was a so picture. pictures. We can understand pictures. For no, for everybody, everybody a... no, no, for everybody else looking, it is utter and complete gibberish. Only Caden Scan can see this. So we can't even can see pictures. You're, you're seeing you're, you're seeing Magic. like like thing, things jumping out the page, words jumbling inside, uh, black splotches of ink uh, moving around. It's it's really not uh, like you can really, you cannot understand anything on that page. It's utter. I told you for you. Do I get like a sense of dread coming from the book? Like, can I? Uh... Oh yes, you've got it. I uh, described that the first time you entered the room. The sense of dread and and the eerie feeling, the eerie silence inside of this room was. Uh... Is it exuding from the book? Can it I... seems to be exuding from everywhere around. Can I like... consult my um, handy travel guide? So you you Chaka's guide to the galaxy. It's Take out this like... this piece of pe paper. Uh, and there's nothing, there's nothing on it. Um, I just look at it and just say, come on, you, you must have some information about what the hell this book is. History book. That's what it says. That's what, yeah, that's what appears written on the piece of paper. Uh, I tell Simon to flick through it. I tell Gaines to flick through it. And just just to try and get an idea of what it is, is it definitely just all about giants, or is that is a spell it, book? Is it like yeah, a really big book? Uh, it's not necessarily. Uh, it's like a tome. It's it's pretty big, but like the handwriting is pretty big as well, and the, I, the I drawings themselves. I carefully flick through one of the pages. Uh, you go and there's another name of another family, another type of giant. Um, this this seems to be a 
A school giant. A what? A school giant. You type that for me? Um. A skull giant? Yes, a skull giant. A skull. One sec. Yes, a skull giant. Giant is not in school. They so are. Okay. They are <laughs> a bit bigger. They have, have giants, from what you see, but they are um, very powerful giants. They can use magic. Um, you see depict depictions of um, skull giants using bones and blood and blood of other races or other people or other animals in order to compete. Uh, mysterious and arcane uh, rituals. James kind of shakes and says, "I'm done with this place," and turns and leaves the room. We can't go. Oh. Well, you might want to be careful wandering off. That mage is going for us. How much might, time? It, he said two hours. It might be worth. I don't know why he'd tell us that. Crap. He's not a very good bad guy. He's but telling he us how long he's gonna be. He's, he's a, just he's telling a, us he's, his plans. Well, yeah, but he's a black maid. The chances are he's very cocky. Maybe there's a bit of a connection. Um, <laughs> Giant. Nah, it's only coincidence. Well, no. James just says that I, you all can take care of the book. I'm done with here. I can take care of my, I, I can take care of myself out well, of the tower. I just want to get out of this room. Yep. But I have a plan, guys. We wait for the wizard to get into the tower. When he sticks his head through the door, we're just gonna go shing and we're gonna lob it off. We're just gonna chop it straight off. It's gonna well, be. I AFK, think guys. we can play at that game. <laughs> There's two two things to do. One, I think the white mage's room may be some sort of sanctuary for us. It may be somewhere that he physically can't go into, or at least mentally won't want to go into. So we could give that a try. But two, we may want to go up to the next level, because if the there's a portal up there that leads to the next level, the one that I told you all about, that said, that I told you all the the the, the guide thing that I've got said not to go up because we're not powerful enough. Um, we might want to make sure that he doesn't go up there because if he's a more powerful mage, we don't want him going up there and finding out whatever the hell's up there. Are we powerful enough now? No, it said, it said, it said, even, it now. said even with the party we wouldn't be powerful enough. How awfully specific. The page knows about you all. I think I think it's either, it's either the wizards, it's either the wizard that was back there useless, or the mage. I'm not 100% sure who it is that I'm talking to, but they've been very helpful. Hmm. Well, I guess we could investigate the portal. Um, we already have. We kind of re think it is a portal. Like we chuck stuff in it, and it vanishes. However, we don't know where it goes, and I don't think at the moment it's worth risking going into it. Does anyone have like a stopwatch or anything? Or a, a pocket watch? What is this, this po stopwatch that you're referring to? Pocket pocket watch? Why? A watch, a clock that fits inside of your pocket. Yeah, but why? why? Because if we tie that to a rope and put it through the portal, we can see how time passes and if it's another dimension or not. Uh, that's irrelevant. It might be dangerous on the other side. That's also oh, yeah. irrelevant because watches don't exist. Yeah. Chucky. But um, other than that, doing... I'm standing outside of the room, so I'm not in there yeah. for reference. Yeah. You and James I, I are... went out. Yeah, I went out to the bear and I said, "Are there windows upstairs, Chucky? Yeah. Do I remember that? I don't recall." As you a you do it's you do long. remember you do remember windows. There is a window in the white mage's room, and there is a window in the very ravish, the big room, the very ravish room. I um, I kind of. Like pat the bear on the back and say, "Come with me." I we need and he explains some things and I kind of tell you what's been going on in there and about how the the black mage is to be here in two hours. And I go to the window and I look out. Do I see anything coming towards the tower? No. Uh, but did you see, you owe me a spot check? You see nothing. No, that's me. That, uh, that one was me. No, oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong. Dev. No, I get into Dev. Everybody seems to yeah, be in the wrong one. Yeah, I'm getting ones here. Uh, no, 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 
There was a, there was only thingy uh, Nick in there. I just joined the wrong one as well. I have to link my dev again. I can never. Can someone link me? For you some reason, to... I can never get into the Thank dev. You. No, no, you have to go onto the dev server and then you can join from there. Just roll me a. Just roll d20 <coughs> plus nine for me, someone. Yeah, I'll do. It. I will. Yeah, fight with it. While I get in here. Nineteen. You okay. See, you see everything. You see yeah, almost everything. <laughs> so your e your your mischievous FIFAs see the big black shadow again that you know to be the giant. Uh, now standing and looking in in your direction, and then you see something else. Uh, to your you be like basically to your right would be some eerie lights coming from the Hall of Heretics. Just like okay. lights there and there. Do you point what? these out to me? What time of day were yes, we at? Uh, it's still like... Um, it was fairly early morning, wasn't it? No, no, no. It's about like 4 or 5 a.m. Something like that. If I remember yeah, it correctly. That, that, that's very early morning. <laughs> oh yeah, very early morning, okay. That's, that's, that's the time. Very late night. Yeah. Um, so I, I look over at that and is the giant like looking at the mage tower? <laughs> like is that what he's focused on? He seems to be like facing. Uh, there's not enough light to see his actual face. You just see his uh, like the shadow of his great big black body. And you see him facing your direction. From what you can make out he is looking at the mage tower. But you do not actually see his eyes. I um is there lights on inside of this room that we're in? Uh there seem to be no lights inside of this room. Okay. I say at least he can't see us since there's no light in here and it's dark out there. I nod, I say to him, um I ask about the women and children of the orcs. What about them? They're, They're in the noble house. Sure. They're vulnerable. If we take advantage of that, we can break their army. All you need to do is include. All you need to do is set, set a plan around taking advantage of their weakness. If you let me loose in there, I'll make sure the orcs see a sight they never forget. James kind of sits there for a moment and says, I will assist you in killing the women, but I will not touch the children. <laughs> okay, going back a bit to the guys inside. Damn, son! <laughs> so, guys, um, Cadence, are you still looking for the book? Yeah, I'm looking for the book to see if I can get any clues. Uh, there are a couple other like descriptions of skull giants, description of half giants, then comes something new. Uh, you see something by the name of stone giant. This type of giant seems to be bigger than the half giants and the um, and the skull giants. They use mainly rocks and uh, stone crabs in order to fight. Uh, just give me one second, I need to open up the folder and can I give you a better information on this? Okay, yeah. so you have uh, school giants are about 4 to 8 meters, the stone giants are about 7 to 12 meters. Uh, there's something weird at the end of the page. It says, like, uh, note, there seem to have only been 20 alive at any time in history. Stone giants, 20 only? Yes. Uh, then you flip through the pages, you see something else. This, this is, this seems a bit weird. There's like steel giants. That's what you can translate it to be. They're about 7 to 15 meters. Um, they use steel weapons, giant steel weapons, and very rarely uh, they use armor. They have there have never been five arrive at once. 
more than five arrive at once. They are fearsome and ruthless and unforgiving. And the last okay. entry in the book terrifies you. This seems to be a king giant. 15 to 20 meters tall. The most powerful of them all. They have gifts, gifts from all the arts. Uh, are always clad in armor. Can use magic. And there's a depiction of a huge giant axe with a weird name in a language you don't understand. And um, there's a little legend about this. Uh, like there's a myth. It's actually said that myth. That one time uh, a giant king named Barlog Mountain Mover needed to prove his strength to his people. And so he went to the biggest mountain seen on the island, unrooted it from the earth and hurled it into the sky. And it's still there, flying around the celestial planets above. <laughs> and well, this is the end okay, of the um, okay, so if I describe if I describe the giant that I saw, like in detail, which um, one does it? Does I'd, it be able, like I'd, be able, I'd be able to tell you exactly if you ask that. It's a stone giant that's outside. Gary, Gary the ghoul told me. Okay. How useful? Yes, he was very useful. Until somebody stabbed him in the back. How I'm glad they? that person did. Thank How you. How big were they? Um, up to 12 feet, I think, if you said. 7 to 12. Somewhere. I said uh, 7, to f uh, oh. 7 to 12 meters. Meters, yeah, sorry. How, does, how, how big does this one look? I uh, did this one look. Um, from he was a bit above the walls, the walls uh, that were about 10 meters, and he was uh, he was like about 12 meters. Oh, good. It's a big fella. He's very old and decrepit now. I am. Um, uh, there's spell components in here, isn't the tricky still? There are spell components in the other room. And, and the, but there's no spell components in the back major's room. There seems to be in this room. Uh, it was in the other room, like, and uh, this is the secret room, if you remember. This uh, yeah, is the one you found I mean, behind the, the bookcase. I mean the black, black major's room in general. Yeah, yeah, there are uh, spell components in each room. Um, I just look at Cadence and I say, and I just say, is there anything on here that you, in the, on those spell components that you can use? I think I, I think I took some. Yeah, you already took some. To take. I don't think we I was willing to take them because I didn't really need any. Yeah, we took the, we took them from the the, the white mage's room. That's where you took your from Simon. Yeah, Cadence okay, took them from the white mage's room. And she found some some of the stuff that she needed. Yeah, I just I, I think I'm good I, I just now. take take them all and I just shove them all in my bag because I don't I don't want the mage walking in and being able to use them. It's uh it's a bit like there there are a couple so. Uh, if if you just tell me the overall weight, you can go through the specifics later. Cause I doubt I'll be yeah, able to let's say ten pounds. And how many roughly? Just put it spell components. Yeah, I and need we'll to. Go that later. Yeah. yeah, we can. Yeah, right, so if you don't need them long. now, I won't open the notes. No, the I moment. just want to. I just want to stop them from using them. Okay. Um, and is there any books or anything lying around that look like spell books? Uh, like there's a bookcase uh, behind, like which you found to be the like a secret door to this uh, room with the pentagram. Uh, do you flick through the through all the books? Uh, yeah, I, I had a flick through them last time and found the thing, but yeah. You just pull it. You yeah, there's the there books. seems to be nothing uh, as a spell book, but you do remember a black mage's spell book. Yeah, no, we threw it through the wall. Yes. Yeah, do I? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Probably the safest place for it, to be honest. Um, I just go in the other room and just say, look, we, if unless there's anything left in here of interest to us, it's probably best we get out of here and start preparing for this mage. Does it say anything about stone giants in particular? Like, uh, what do they possess? Any kind of weakness, or do they have like? Uh, like taboos or something they don't. Uh, it says they they like hoarding stone, uh, big stone um, borders, and they shape them. Uh, and whenever it's said like after every fight, like they just gather them up and uh, make it a sanctuary. Uh, is, can I deduct that that's why we're not we're not having not seen any boulders lying around? Yeah, of course, of course. That's simply enough. Uh, 
and it well, says that they super effective against them. Go on. While all this is going on, and I was talking to um, Aizen, yeah. I went to Aiden. Is it Aiden? That's a new yeah, one, it's Aizen. It's Ajax. 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 Mark 2. Okay, yeah. I want to go into... Has to... I want to go into the White Mage's room, and I want to just look around there, and I want to, like, search that until they're ready to go. I just want to search around there. Yes. I guess I'll stay with him if he's searching around, but I won't. I won't like search around. I'll just kind of stand in the room. It's it's a pious normal room, but for the extremely white, perfectly white sheets. Uh, on the table, on the right, on the sorry, on the on the bed. But besides that, there's a couple of spell components on the uh, uh, on a study table. There's a little bookcase, there's a chest that's been opened, and the uh, open dropped. window. Jack dropped. Oh, he has, he has indeed dropped. So just tell me if I found anything secret there, or anything of note, besides what's apparent. Seems, seems not to be anything else here. Then I move on to the, the other room. Yes, uh, we can hear you, Jack. Where we the shed. The one where we fought the shadows, and I do the same, looking for anything of new in there. Okay. Like, uh, it's hidden. Yeah, yeah, okay. Taking my time. So, you guys, what what are you doing? Uh, what is Darius doing? He's just waiting around. We need to, we need to prepare for the, um, the um, wizard coming, but we have two hours, and I'm sure everything can be achieved in that amount of time. There's nothing really explicit, like... There's nothing really like um in particular that I guess Darius is doing. He's just waiting for everyone to make up their minds before they can go and prepare. Yeah. Um I ask you if you still have your poison that you mentioned that you uh, yes yes I do. What Good. plans do you have for such things? Um the giant feeds um at midday almost flawlessly. Um according to um what I learned from Gary the, Gary the Ghoul. Whereabouts? Where do you do this? There's a storehouse behind the uh, castle area. I don't know. I don't know what he eats. It is, by the way, it's not behind. Advantage. Just like FYI, it's not behind the. Um, it's not behind the castle because you'd know this. If you if you if you continue to why that's okay, but uh, it's actually. No, 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 I'm not lying. I thought that's what you said it was. No, it's actually south of the mage tower. That is where the castle is. No. Nope. South of the mage store. tower. You guys are... Why isn't that on the map then? If the storehouse is there. Well, because... The giant, the giant walks all the way across. It's it's somewhere around here. That's that's what he told you. The like it's somewhere the way... south of your I, I position. Know, the giant walks all the way across there and we've never seen him do it once. When we have been nearly two days. It's all minions to do these things. Won't it? No, the giant feeds every day. So what I was specifically told the giant goes and feeds every day. It goes to um, it goes it goes to the well house. If you want to use this, um, apparently this poison that uh, we have acquired is so powerful that it cannot actually be identified by strong wizards. So it could be potentially used to, uh, well, in conjunction with a stealthy approach, maybe. A, a sneaky thief with invisibility cast upon him, major. Not there to talk, actually. So, yeah, I know. Uh, Gary, I, by I the way, every no, everybody in the room with Gary. That means Cadence and Darius. Uh, you see something growing in Gary's hand. Oh, it's a fucking telephone ringing. I answer. <laughs> Okay, you look at the... the pew, 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 pew. He, he brings up like another like the piece of paper which stops going when in front of him. And uh, on there it is, stands written, Gary, do you want this private or... Pro uh, private first, we see what it is. Okay. It's gonna lie to us. It's all dirty lies. I say, well, it's all... And I walk over I, and I, I snatch it from his head now. I, I honestly haven't lied to you so far. 
Not that you could beat my beef. Not that you could beat my bluff roll anyway. Wait, what if he's lying about not lying? Oh, you <laughs> get there. <laughs> Hashtag mind blown. <laughs> Just a hit. <laughs> That's the message that you get from the. That right. tries to get written on that. What? Um. Yeah, I just say it to everyone. In fact, I'll, I'll whistle at the other two as well to kind of. I'll roll it up and then just shout at everyone. We need to decide this. We need to decide this together. You, like, you, you show the piece of paper to them? No, I, I rolled it up. What? I ro I then I roll it up and I, I get everyone together with it. We needed it. Oh, we need okay. to decide what we're going to yeah. do together. Um, once everyone's out, I, of black mages. I take uh, a detour. Is there anything flammable in the hidden room? Um, nothing of note. Uh, only things that were flammable were the the book, of course, and the parchment. Uh, the like the scrolls, the scrolls on the wall that you have already taken. So the only flammable thing would remain in in the room would remain. The book. Yeah, okay, and this has got that, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm currently reading over it. So there's, <laughs> I mean, just, just asking one last time. I see nothing that can portray any kind of weakness. Giants. It doesn't seem anything. Just like nothing uh, is like um, their weakness, if, if, their if power. If you said that out loud, I'd say that the, the scroll said it was a history book. I doubt it might have information. His his weakness is to kick him in the balls. <laughs> weakness is to steal his stones. Well, that that, that you can you, you could deduce that. The world. Plot armor. <laughs> you could deduce that because like big balls, big giant, sensitive I, place. I take the book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it weighs um, about two pounds, so you can add that. Do I still have any oil? Just book of giants. That's. What do you need to write down? Oh no, no I used my oil, didn't I, in the, in the second I week? Down giant yes. book because that's confusing. Um, <laughs> giant book, yeah. Um, or oh, tome of giants, whichever sounds better, prettier mm, for you. Does that, Does anybody have any like lamp giant. oil? Does anybody have any lamp oil or anything on them? Oh, I don't think so. I have um, skis and a drinking horn. <laughs> oh, any, uh, even alcohol, even alcohol might work. I have no alcohol. I don't have anything. I have mm. candles, chalk, ink file, ink pen, torch. No, really, no oil of any kind. I have no oil either. It it Ajax was never time to oil up. Right. Uh, does anybody want anything else? <laughs> does anybody want anything so, else from this black mage's room? So who? Who did sort of lose Ajax's oil? Maybe? I'm going to. Talk maybe, to it. Yeah, maybe. But don't we ha don't shouldn't we have some oil because I took some from his backpack? Should be on your character sheet. Yeah, you took all of it. Is it on your character sheet? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I just, I just, I, tried. List, I listed it as Ajax's stuff. One, what, one, one, one pound. <laughs> one second, one second. Let me, let me yeah. get up the Ajax character sheet. I'm I tried sure to be had. I tried to loot it, but you were this is the hard back no. those tears. This is you funny. Have. Have. Hold you back have. those tears, man. Bedroll, chalk, flint, and steel. Canvas, wet. Oh no, you all had a fight over the canvas. Um, whetstone, what? belt pouches. Everyone was like, "I want the canvas." No, I want the canvas. Um, and yes, you have a lamp with oil in it. Well done. Well, done. Then we have well I guess I guess you wouldn't have the bedroll skull. and the uh, flint and steel uh, and stuff. I don't. Not an extra bedroll seems. Uh, yeah, because Does anybody anyone keep that has demon that. skull, by the way. I think we, I we think we with you, didn't burned we? that with We burned you. it. Yeah. yeah. We yeah, burned it, and then we, on, on your corpse, we swapped the demon skull for your head, and then we like took your head and went bowling with it. It was great. Oh, Bob, still got your, Bob still got your head on. I got a perfect series. Ajax is going to yeah, come back you, from the dead and be disgusted look, about that. <laughs> you look through the stuff of Ajax fighting, and you find the ramp with oil. Yeah. You see uh, three I, I of his ask if I can have this. I ask if I can have the oil because I'm going to torch this room. Yeah. It's time to oil up. Uh, it reminds me of Ajax. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's I okay. It's okay, Cadence. Ajax ended up in flames as well, so. Okay, so you torch Here's the room, the uh, black mage's room. Uh, yeah. Um, I like spread the oil so it covers most of the first room and goes into the second room a little bit and then. Fire what? And, shut, and shut the door behind it. 
Is there <laughs> anything of interest to the Not game? while I'm in the door. Pages room. Okay, sorry. Uh, like, Aiden. Oh, wait, I no, did... I left. I'm, no, I, I left no, 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 no. I did ask you all before. It... If anyone oh, okay. does anybody have anything of interest in this room before I torch it, so go ahead. Nobody left anything, anything in that room. Is there anything in there that would be... Oh, what is in there? There's a whole bunch of books. Um, yeah, any particularly please. interesting books? Uh, Gary walked through them. There's nothing interesting. It's just like normal books uh, you would find in any library. They seem to be more like, after looking more into them, they seem just to be there for show. They're more like a front it's floor. A, it's, a, it's a hidden bookcase, yeah. Is the shelf okay, like um, is the shelf like uh, actually uh, inside like inside in stone or can you like can you check behind the book uh, the bookshelves or something? Like, like that? the bookshelf itself, like the bookshelf was a secret door. So uh, like James it Bond. moved. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I'm checking off uh, topic while I was looking at those two other rooms. Did I find anything with like the Full search that I did. Or no? Nope. Everything that I told you was there. This, this doesn't seem to be nothing of like. There's nothing secret. There. Okay. By the way, there. Yes, you need to remind me. You. You. Whenever you pass a secret door, you get a search de check to uh, search for it as you are yeah. as if so you are you, actively you're looking walking for it. past the door that you, you don't know what's there, you need to remind Chucky. If no, you no, found I like. I don't even think <laughs> I have that. I, I think you have that because of your oh, race. That's, that's, that's elf. He's, that's elf. he's an Asimir, not an elf. He's a, he's a fake elf. Uh, he is I a think Kaden um, that though. I know, I just like... Uh, oh yeah, you get that as yeah, well. Kaden's gets that. Um, just like as a note, Chucky, I look through some of the books, um, generally the ones about nature. Is there anything on orcs in the book bookshelf? Anything? Uh, yeah, there seems to be something about orcs. Uh, they Danger, are called my mountain. <laughs> in their in their um, <laughs> native language, they are called uh, bosoms. I'm gonna bosoms. Okay. No, no. no. <laughs> Go get me kill some of the bosoms, man. What tit came Okay, they're bosoms. Bosoms. Um, they are. They are usually, uh, they live in the exiled colonies, um, where they show themselves and most, and mostly they serve the giants. Okay, so they follow the giants. Um, uh, orcs nocturnal. To be nocturnal, yes. Okay, do they suffer in the light? Does the book tell me? It says nothing about it. Um, does it, okay, I'm assuming it's a book that, it's like a history book about, you know, and it's just saying, these are orcs, these are their common traits, these are, it's all of that exactly. sort of stuff. Exactly, yeah. Um, in their common society, um, how do they treat their families? Um, they usually don't interfere, like, with raising the children. Women are very strong, uh figures and usually like a lot of uh, war words uh, between the bosoms have been women uh, they respect like the first thing they respect is power so they didn't they don't really care where it comes from if you are powerful you're respected in their um, in their society and they praise most lands children and women usually in that order that's what okay, that's so the um, things that they uh, show off with so a common orcish woman to put in game scale, at game levels, the common orcish woman would be like a level zero still. She, but so they could become very strong in orc society. But if they're just a female whose you know husband is a is a warrior and that you know they're just the same as a human, you know they just look after kids kind of thing. Uh, yeah, if, if if it's a housewife orc, yes, it's it's a level zero thing. Like she can't really do anything. She might be able to fist fight you, but not not anything effective. But she might uh, be able to fist fight them, but not me. <laughs> anybody, yeah. She might be able to fist. Okay. But she, some she of them are well. very. Some of them seem to be depicted as powerful as uh, any other orc. Yeah. Well, in orc yeah. society, is it common for women to be housewives? Does it say anything about that? 
Uh, it like is common for women to raise their children until a certain age. <laughs> They're like going in the apart, like little little do houses, they, like do they have watching us. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Lara the other day? She was wearing like the stupidest high heels I've ever seen. They're gonna make like, hair done. They're gonna make <laughs> like, hair done on those massive like things. Yeah, they're gonna like all the curlers in. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, their nails, they've got aprons and that on. Um, flower dresses. Okay, it's so, so, it's so hard that. being a military housewife. My wife <laughs> is so long. My husband's never home. <laughs> so hard. I, um, Sorry. I take the parchment and ink out of the room and take it with me to the dinner table and continue eating ham. Whilst I uh, write something down on the paper, which I'll okay. PM you. There's this pungent smell coming from, like, after you've read the, the room afire, pungent smell coming from the room after you shut the door. But oh, the fire, a pungent, pungent oh, smell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the smell, wait, 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 wait. the fire never does reach the door. It doesn't seem, it, it doesn't light on fire. Like, after a couple of minutes, this is, uh. I, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, and uh, what are your actions? As long as, long as, long as, long as it didn't come up. Uh, well, like I said, I get everyone together because we need to decide what we're going to do. Okay, yeah, so you I, guys... I gather together with them. You meet together at the table, I'd say, because he wants to eat. Yeah. Is the table okay. late again? The table is there again, and oh, the damn. name tags are still there. Yeah, it's rest time. Odd. Wasn't, wasn't like that when me and came back. Um, anyway, yeah, um, so we sit and uh, I just explain, like, I thought I had some poison, so, like, we've got some options of what we want to do. We do are we going to sit here and wait for this mage? Are we going to try and poison this giant? Or do we want to go and get the, the alchemist's fire? Um, we can kind of do them two together, because they're kind of on the way. Guys, what we could do is we could, um... We could put some poison and mix it with some Kool Aid, right? Then we could all drink it and rebellion against the system, and we'll all just die and we'll go to some place like Zarahufadon or some shit. Kool Aid up And then we'll the live there. Uh, oh yeah. I I kind of like my life. It's it's funny <laughs> because when like, when you mention when when you, when you mention that it kind of reminds some all that you said that you wanted to fly and you can fly now. And I ask you again to remind me how many people could you make fly? Well, today, I actually can't remember how many uh, spells I have. You used a... Uh, <laughs> you used a uh, web, a, a, a fry, a um, scorching, scorching ray, ray, and I think another web, uh, another web yeah. And a couple of... Um, you used magic missile. Ray... Two... Magic missile, so you can calculate on that. I know, I, for reference, I know what I've used, by the way, so... Yeah. Oh, whoa, Mr. Big Shot! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should, you should do as well, as. <laughs> right, so, can, can you make people fly or not? Probably three today. But only for like a couple of minutes. Nothing yeah, happened. it's just you know it's just when we went when we went past the hall of heretics. It looks like most of the stuff was on the roof, or at least the important stuff was on the roof. Do you have to fly to get there? Well, we could or walk. It would be up. easier. It would be easier for one person to to fly up and look, than to tread through the whole hall of heretics, which has a very odd odd, li odd light coming throughout it at the moment, doesn't it? Uh, you don't know that, I don't believe. I didn't say anything about that. Just me and the bear know that, I believe. Yeah, but anyway, I think uh, uh, regardless of that, I think it's best. We, we know that uh, what, what looked important was on the top, so the, the, log the logic still stands. I don't think I want to fly up there. It'd be my guest. Don't look like some kind of flappy bird. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, what do you want to do? I I I think po poison poisoning the food source and the whole of heretics is perfect. I PM you what I write down on a scroll, Chucky, and I roll it up. Uh, I, I can check Skype. So if you, uh, I'm gonna check it later. Is it important? Do I need to check it now? Very. Um, potentially, I'll let you 
I'll like I'll say it if I need to. You can just yeah. Can just oh, I'm you opening can't, my yeah, yeah, you can't whisper him. I'm opening on phone. I'm gonna check it on phone. Please so go. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Does. What what are we gonna do then? Like I, I I strongly suggest we take this opportunity to poison the food supply of the giant because because he hasn't eaten today. I agree. Okay, well, if you all would do Overwatch, yeah. I will poison the food. I have no qualms. Okay, well, so um, I, well, I usually maybe... don't agree with poisoning. I think it's uh, uh, then still, you can go uh, fight the giant. Yeah, it's it's if it if if it if it can if it, if if it's good for a cause, then I have no problem with it. And Chucky, I, I do know this is a poison, not a venom, right? You do know this is a poison. You have figured that okay. uh, uh, right, at least that, but nothing more. So, so ingesting it would do damage then if it's a poison. Correct. Poison. Yeah, something. Will do damage that that is what it's poison. Venom, venom waters. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Um. So in conjunction with being able to fly for, um, six or so minutes and being able to go invisible, do you think you could poison the giant's food supply? Yeah, uh, I don't think being able to fly would help. It could well, help if I get in a sticky situation and I need to fly away. It could it's be a lot faster. No, if you're, invi if you're invisible, you're invisible. Yeah, but, but I, if he would get there things faster, happen. he would be there. If he could fly 60 feet, he would be there and back before six minutes. Yeah, but he could also run. And it's he wouldn't like, make, it's like would it make any noise. Yeah, it doesn't, make, well. it, it doesn't make noise. Yeah, but it, ultimately, once he gets to this dollhouse, he's probably going to have to go through a door. And the place is supposed to be heavily guarded, so... Well, also, I will I will head out. Um, I I think I may be able to... I mean, it's just you. Just, does flying mean you have to fly all the time? You can't put your feet on the floor. Well, you can... It's like you can fly as fast or slow as you want, right? Yeah, yeah but you can't put your feet on the floor. So you can just yeah, hover you can, like you an can inch hover. above the floor. You can hover. You could. You could hover. You don't have to. Yeah, but you, 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 ask, you, ask, you always have to fly. I'm. I'm. I'm just saying. You don't have to put your feet. On, you, you can't put your feet on yeah. the floor. Yeah. You can yeah. all. You. You would be able to, if flying would help, no matter what. Help. Like it wouldn't help that much because he'd still have to go through the door, but he makes no noise from footsteps. Yeah, he, and it's it's pointless anyway because my invisibility doesn't last long enough for him. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. How long does your invisibility last? One minute per level. That's the same Seven as my minutes. flying. Six minutes. It's the same as my flying. So yeah, he we, could be able to he, make it if he flies because it's, it's a it's lot faster. It's, it's too tight. If he if he if he flies from there, like he's literally got six minutes to get in and out. That's that's yeah. too that's too tight yeah. by any rogue standard. But you don't you don't know what's there, we don't even know what it eats yet. We, well, don't, it, know, we be, don't even know if what it eats can be poisoned. It could be full of fucking rocks for all we know. Well, for what yeah, it could be useful rocks. for the approach. Even if I have to land and I lose it, it could be useful to I, help me get it. I can't cast invisibility on you again, so I'm not wasting it. No way. This is this is it. You get one goal. I'm I'm not wasting it just so you can go and have a look and find out that it's wasted. No way. Not not when it's yeah, still yeah. Er, not when it's still early in the morning. There's probably not many patrols out. We've noticed that they don't patrol much during the night. We can just go. We there. can always use Plan B. And we're, we're, like I say, I think it's best to go to the the Hall of Heretics as well on the way. Well, would you like me to put flying on you so you can fly over to the Hall of Heretics and what go investigate? What is the Hall of Heretics? You know, the Hall of Heretics. What is no? What is in there? The alchemist. There were lights before. <sighs> Wait, the alchemist fires on the roof, isn't it? Yes. Were the lights on the we roof? Can fly. How much alchemist fire would there be? Would you it know? It was a big stash. Well, he, how they would carry that if we're flying? Lot. It doesn't matter. We just need to secure it. Can, you can carry Check as it. much as you can, like your maximum press, can't you? Something. Yeah, you, you can carry. If you if you want to lift, you can lift stuff. Yeah. I can carry two hundred and thirty pounds, but I and I'm only currently carrying five, ten, fifteen. Wait, can we can we just decide where we're going then and what we're doing? Because this is like taking forever. That's what we're trying to do. I'm carrying 
40 pounds, so I can do 180 pounds of Alchemist Fire. Well, we have to be out of here in two hours, so Hall of Heretics or Poison the Food Supply. Out of here, we're staying here boat. and killing this mage. No, I don't think that's a good idea. But he'll get a spell book that you threw through the portal. You don't know that I threw it through the portal. You said you did. No, I said to Tricky. Tricky said, you know of another spell book, and I said, yes, I threw it through the portal. You don't know that. Well, okay. I didn't say that then. Okay, so, what are you guys' action? Um, How much time has passed? Not very much, uh, just like 20, 20. 20 minutes, something like that. Setting fire to something, eating, discussing, 20 minutes. I say uh, that, this is my boot, I say that Samold, you come with me, the rest of the party can follow, but at a distance. You make me invisible, I move in, you use ghost sounds to distract them so I can get into the building. Once I'm inside, I'll poison the food as quickly as I can and I'll get out. Well, we need to go and have a look, so that's where we go from there. Yeah, I think I think we should actually do something. So. Okay, if the vote is in order, then that's fine. I'm fine with that. I I want the party nearby in case things get sour. I don't no, want to no, def de Definitely, it's not worth you sneaking off by yourself and getting screwed. Okay, so you guys move towards the supposed yeah. location of the storeroom? Just, we need to be a little bit more careful because I think our presence is a lot more aware than it has been in the past. Yeah, let's try to stay back. off the street. You should make Same. a detour. Stay at the alleys. Now, okay, so, uh, as a party, are you doing all, all of you are you doing the same thing? So are you guys all going to the storeroom? Should we do should we do it tactically and just move in two so we're not moving in a big group? So how how I suggest we move um is okay, so Chucky I'm gonna draw me on top. Um so like if that was a street there we would have like me and James moving up like in oh those are stupid circles. Me and James moving up like in that and then the party following behind across like across the street like two and then one further back. So if any particular person was spotted they wouldn't be in sight of anyone else. Because like we are mostly the most although in this situation if um james wants small you would swap me back here with small i say once we get near the storeroom that you should swap with small in the back um you guard bob and all that and the small give me the invisibility you stay back i know that you're quiet but i need him to give me the injuries and all that jazz yeah okay sounds good Okay, so uh, you guys move like this. Um, let's roll your probabilities. So, um, just uh, this is cautious walk, so you need to roll me move silently. Those in front at least. Oh, that's and going in to back, be really it. fun. It always is. It always is. My move silently at plus 16. No my shit since I wearing like heavy armor. Twenty-four, fifty yeah. Uh, Nick yeah. and Aiden you are moving as always we are silently. In you are at, you are moving at not even shadows yeah, made the wow. same noise. Caden C I mean the stalking. You move very good as well. Uh yes, your armor doesn't crank that much. Nope. There is uh -oh. there is there's like a twig and you're like Looking to the right, looking to the right, and you're gonna step on the twig. And Darius then pulls out his bagpipes. <laughs> Starts. Yes. Starts. Yeah. So it's um. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty good. Well, I mean, even on a low move, silently roll, he's still moving fairly quietly. Yeah, you want to be yeah. like crashing yeah. into like. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. I think um, if you rolled a one, you would make any loud, loud, loud noise. The, He's just the running first through half the streets, of the journey is, is silent, nothing, nothing appears, you, you successfully dodge the patrols, you successfully move out of incoming orcs, 
And the control is more or less than what me and Nick have been used to. Seeing as we moved it around is the world. more. It is more. Um, because b before you, you you would dodge just one patrol or maximum of two, you've already dodged three. And like only the yeah. first half of the journey. Yeah. So the first half goes well. Let's see about the other half. I'll also, like one thing, like because me and James are in the front, if we see a patrol first, like can the others back. can fall back. Yeah. And but hide. Oh, no, no, your the my dice betray me. Does you you successfully dodge any other patrol that comes in your way, or you just don't don't bump into any? Um, you make it at the storeroom. There seems to be like a couple of uh, shabby houses that seem recently built around what you can glimpse about through like this like alleyways between these shabby houses that are more in the more in like a makeshift watchtowers than anything else. You can see a field on the other side, like a large field. Um, you you cannot see very much, but only spots to see whatever. Uh, what else I can tell you guys? 18, that's pretty Woo. good. Oh, my spot. Yeah. Not only only Aiden and uh, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And, and James sees stuff? everything. Is James sees everything. Sends his mortal form. James, like, you glimpse something. And you see, like, a herd of uh, different animals, like a couple of cows, a couple of sheep, and this, and this uh, field just moving about. I say dropped. I say dropped. Um, so where is the field in the relation to the storeroom again? I'm, so I didn't quite this, what what you can understand, like you can make out that this is the storeroom. This seems to be the storeroom, the uh, field okay. itself. Um, like with that one, you, you can easily make out the like, idea that there are watchtowers, the like, little shabby watchtowers built, recently built out of wood around this field. I I want. Gary said that the storeroom was something he's never been inside of, and he couldn't see what people had eaten. And you're telling me it's a great field now? Yes, that's that's what uh, you yes. they are seeing right now. So I frown. I I don't. Chaotic I, I evil look at the bear. He lies. He didn't. He didn't lie. I look at the. Um, um, try and shrug, don't like. stop uh, calling I say please just because uh, overall he gets fucked up if he gets just just uh, no, no just just wait for I say okay uh, we have a, we've we are at one hour do you guys want to take a small break yeah sure yeah okay we're gonna take a small break put some music for you guys uh, if I was gonna be playing on the background it's gonna be oh I say back. Oh, I say back. Yeah. Do we still want to take a break or what? Uh, everybody, do you guys want to take a break or continue on? No, I'm actually fine if you want to just carry on. Let's just keep going. I just wanted okay, to break the, because the, it's not back yet. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so you see this? You see this field? Um, oh, okay. And.